Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about four positions I always look at when I'm analyzing my student swings on video. So I really hope this can be of benefit to you guys when you're looking at your own swings. Now the four positions that um, I always analyze in my student swings are one, the setup, two, the top of the back swing, three, impact, and four, finish. Now I have done videos, individual videos on all four of those, but I thought I'd put a video together where I've got all four of those positions at once. And we're going to start with the setup. So the setup, we know that we want to be in that K position. So what I really look at in my students is that they have the left side of the body fairly straight. So the, the shoulder is pretty much over the left foot and the body's in, in line here. Now the other thing I always look for is that the head is more or less in the middle of the feet. Okay, so if we get the head in the middle of the feet and this, this line here, we're pretty much good to go as far as getting into the right K position. Now, I also look at the posture from the back angle and what we're really trying to get here is to try and get the back as pretty much as straight as we possibly can. And to do that, we need to make sure that the arms are hanging relaxed here. So if I have my arms relaxed and not overly stiff and straight with the elbows too close together, I can pretty much get a, a fairly straight back. So I'm going to tilt forward from the hips and feel like my head's up a little bit and my arms are hanging, hanging relaxed here. So we're looking for that, that set up position. Okay, and that's, that's us ready to go. Okay, so the second position, top of the back swing. What I look at from the front angle in my students is for two things. One, I want to make sure that I want to see that the left hip stays on the wall. Okay, so on the back swing, the left hip pretty much stays where it starts. And the other thing I want to see is I want this left shoulder to work down under my chin away from the wall. So the left shoulder works away from the wall and the left hip stays on the wall. The last thing we want to, we want to see is, the, is the, the club shaft away from the right shoulder. So we're creating some width there. So left hip should stay on the wall, left shoulder works down under my chin, and the shaft is away from the right shoulder at that point. Now, from the back angle, at the top of the back swing, I always look that my, my student has stayed in the posture, okay, so that means that the left side's worked down a little bit, and we want to see that this left wrist is fairly flat, we want to see a little bit of bend in the right wrist, and we want to see the shaft back this way. So the club head is a little bit behind the body. The hands will be more or less in front of the body or over the right shoulder. That's sort of the position we want to look for here. So the next position is impact. And what I like to see there in my students is that we want to see that the, that the body is actually a bit further forward than when it started. So we still want to see that K position, the left side fairly straight, angle on the right side but there should be now more weight on the left side. There is a movement forward with the body as we hit. We also want to see a bit more shaft lean than we saw at address. So at impact, we want to see the shaft leaning. We want to see the K position with more weight left than we started with. So we want to see this left shoulder more or less right over that left foot again. Okay, so we've got that nice K position, left side on the wall, more shaft lean and more weight left. So two other things I look for at impact is that the chest is more or less facing forward and not too much in this position. I want the chest to be facing that way. And that, that really allows me to get into a good K position. Okay, so we always want that chest at impact to be this way. Now the other thing that we want is that the arms are sort of a bit closer together okay, than they were at, at address. So you can see I've got relaxed arms. There's a bit more tension in the arms. The elbows are a bit closer together at impact. That allows us to get a, a, a nice hit against the wall here, and a nice stable club base at impact. Now from the back angle at impact, we want to be able to see that this right arm still got some bend. So we want to have some bend in the right wrist, some bend in the right arm. We don't want the right arm to be too straight. We want to be coming into impact with a bent right arm, bent right wrist, and that will allow me also to maintain my posture better. So I'll be, the right side will be lower at that point as I come into impact. Okay, rather than being all straight with the, with the left arm and too straight with the body. Okay, so our last position is going to be the finish. And really what I like to see there 
is that the body is in good balance but is slightly leaning away from the target rather than leaning too far forward. So I've extended my spine this way, slightly backwards this way. So I come through, got some extension in the spine and very important is this shaft stays away from the, from the left shoulder. So from the back angle it'll look this way. Okay, as I come through I'm going to extend my spine and I'm going to get this gap up here.